Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Rackin' Rock Chronicles here on the YouTube channel. And as you can tell, I'm a little excited. I'm going to move some stuff out of the way here. Um, we just got a shipment from UPS that we've been waiting for since April. Um, it got delayed a few times for different reasons. Uh, but finally, it's here. One of the boxes we did have to open already, which I don't know if you can see these bad boys. Um, but these are the ores. Uh, these are the cataract ores, the KBOs with the uh, mini cutthroat blades. Um, so if you're getting an idea of what this might be, you're probably on the right track. Uh, but that box is a little squished uh, when the driver delivered it. So he asked me to check that one, so that one got open. But <clears throat> you've seen us post pictures about this, you've seen us talk about it. Um, you might have a gist if you watched any of the shows, if you watched our Facebook page or our Instagram page, anything. If you're following the Trout Trails pages, um, this is our River Rat Pro Drift Boat, uh, inflatable. So we've been waiting for this. It set some stuff back on the Trout Trails end. So Trout Trails, we were going to release in July as our new show. Uh, this year, what we will probably do is just put segments into the Rack and Rod show um, until next year, and that will give us some uh, better chance to get some filming done. Um, we're still waiting on some parts for the tent that have not showed up yet that are out on the rack rig. Um, but this boat we've been waiting for and waiting for and waiting for. Memorial Day weekend is coming up. So I'm going to start unboxing these. You're going to get to see this whole boat get put together right here in the garage. Um, and then you'll get to know exactly what it looks like, uh, how we're going to use it and all that fun stuff. So stay tuned and we'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the River Rat Pro Series. Uh, I didn't run the camera because it is a hand pump. I'm not as quite as young as I used to be. Um, so rather than you see you guys or have you guys see me struggle, I figured I wouldn't do that part. But um, the boat does come with the hand pump. Okay, which is awesome. It's actually a really well built pump, um, meant for stand up paddle boards. There's a really cool feature that locks the hose onto the nozzle when you're putting air in. There is a gauge on top, and I'll go over the poundages here in a second. Um, you also get a repair kit, um, which that was about the only thing that I saw from the damaged box that was a little dented. Uh, they taco at the bottom of the canister. But uh, this is a watertight um, repair kit. Uh, does have even the wrench to get your air inlets out. So, very handy, comes with the boat. Uh, so the boat comes in two pieces in the box. You have your actual outer tubes, um, gunnels if you will, and then you have your floor. So the tubes, there's four air inlets on the tubes, one for each chamber. So there's a chamber, a chamber, a chamber, and a chamber. They meet here in the middle, and they meet in the middle on the sides. Uh, the, pound, the poundage of air that goes in, or PSI that goes in, is three pounds. Three pounds per square inch. You'll notice the pump starts to get really stiff as you're trying to you know, load it, um, and just keep an eye on your, your gauge on top of the pump. 
At first, I didn't think it was working. I just wasn't anywhere near where it needed to be. Um, the floor, which is in the boat, so I can't like take it out and show it to you, and I should have done that separately, but I didn't. Um, so that goes in, and then you're going to inflate it while it's in the boat so that it gets up underneath your tubes. Okay? This raft is a tunnel hull design, which is going to help you track better and or much easier. Um, so the floor, because that's where you're going to be standing, rowing, you know, you're gonna, whether you have clients or buddies, you're going out on the water, you're going to be standing in there. Okay? It's 15 pounds, 15 PSI in the floor. That one really, I mean, it's tight the whole time. Once you hit 10, pumping through, it's going to sound like it's ready to pop. Um, but you want to get to that 15 or as close to as possible. Um, that pump made it super easy. I mean, obviously, yes, I was, you know, stressed from pushing. Um, but other than that, it, it inflates super easy. So go over the boat real fast before I get any of the frame on it. Um, all that fun stuff. So again, tunnel hole design, so it makes it super easy to paddle. Super easy to track with, um, you know, it'll basically float in two inches of water, so if you got, you know, small river, skinny water type deal, she's good. Um, it has two metal D-rings on both sides, three on front and rear, then two bigger ones, so if you're winching or pulling the boat, putting it into a trailer, anything like that, that's what that's for. Um, you have the logo right here on both ends, so... River Rat Pro Series, you have some black, so the tubes are gray, but up on top you have some abrasion resistant um, patches that go on top of the actual tube. That's where your frame is going to go, so that way you're not rubbing onto the actual tube itself. You have a you know layer of protection. The floor, I mean, it's like hardwood floor in there. I mean, it's, it's beefy. And uh, other than that, I mean, this thing is built. I'm, you basically just bought yourself a whitewater raft if you don't put the frame on it. Um, so this thing is awesome. Uh, you have grab handles on both sides. So if you got going into the river, getting into your vehicle, into a trailer, onto a trailer, uh, you know, two people. I actually lifted it up onto these horses myself pretty easily. The boat weighs 125 pounds with everything on it. And I apologize for my phone going up. Um, so this thing is just badass lack of better terms so i'm gonna start getting the frame together and we'll get it up here and then we'll come back to a video see you in a bit all right guys so we got the frame starting to go together there here and let me explain how easy this setup is it's like crazy so in the box you're gonna get a bunch of these okay you can see there's two holes in them makes it real simple right one side goes in one pipe another side goes in another pipe all you got to do is clip them together with these. So I've got my front seat standing in the way here. Got the front seat on the boat. I got the oar locks in already. And it literally took five minutes once I you know, laid everything out to see where everything goes. So we're going to put the casting brace on right now. Guys, it's truly like Christmas today. We just got the mattress and the poles for the rooftop tent from Hinkley. So today is a great day. We got the boat in, we're getting it together. We'll be able to get the tent straightened out and uh, we're ready to get out and do some adventuring. But uh, let's get the last piece. Um, aside from the seats, you gotta, we gotta put the rear cargo tray on, which is kind of like a cool, cooler holder, um, you know, all that fun stuff. So 
Let's uh, get her on this boat here. You are looking at the River Rat Pro Series Drift Raft. And man, this thing is unbelievable. We did shoot some video that you'll see kind of interlaced here, uh, putting it together, all that fun stuff. But because there was, you know, a lot of pieces to go, how to pump up the raft, I didn't want to put that real long, super long video up here. So you're going to see different pieces. Um, you're going to see some walk around uh, with the camera here. And I don't know if you can see Dakota in the background chasing balls into her, uh, into the cardboard boxes. But anyway, back to the raft. So this is a three person fly fishing drift raft. Doesn't have to just be fly fishing, but that's what we're going to use it for. Um, so number one, first and foremost, you've got your inflatable raft portion. The raft comes in one box, it comes in two pieces. You have a floor and then the actual outer tubes. So real quick, there's four chambers on the outside part of the raft. One, two, three, and four. So they meet in the middle on the sides, they meet right here in the front. Um, so you're gonna have four different spots that you're gonna have to blow up from to get everything straightened out. The great part is, it comes with its own pump, okay? Big thing you have to remember is PSI. Two numbers, three pounds in the tubes. Okay, three PSI in the tubes. You're gonna notice that pump trying to start to get stiff as you're trying to blow it up. You'll, you're real close, so keep an eye on the gauge, which is also on the pump. Floor, the floor in this boat is like walking on hardwood. It's solid, okay? 15 pounds, 15 PSI in the floor. You're gonna really notice that pump getting stiff. It's gonna sound like it's getting ready to pop. Just keep an eye on the gauge. When you hit 15, stop, okay? Other thing about this raft is a tunnel hull design, so it's gonna help you track and row much easier. Okay, uh, so think of a kayak uh, or some, certain boats that have a tunnel hull, so it, it kind of goes like this. The water sits underneath it. What's awesome about this is it will float in two inches of water. Two inches. Okay, so you got skinny water you wanna float, you got midsummer, late summer water where there's no rain, there's no runoff, there's nothing. You could still float with this raft. Okay, all right, so you got Bogo here in the front, you got two carry handles on each side, you've got three D-rings in the top, on the front and the rear, two on each side. The ones on the sides are for lashing the frame, one in the back, actually all three in the back are meant for lashing the frame, you'll see that in a minute. You have another D-ring right here, which is if you've got a trailer with a winch on it, you can hook it right here and drag it up on the trailer. Uh, you also have another one in the back which has a tether line attached to it so that if you need to get out of the water, it's real shallow. Um, you know, you could pull it, that way there's no weight in the boat. Um, okay, from there, once you get this all blown up, you got the floor in, you got that blown up, that's another thing. Make sure you put the floor in the boat before you start inflating it. Makes it a lot easier, it'll get up underneath those tubes so you don't have to worry about any, any gaps or spaces. Other big thing that comes with the raft is a repair kit. Always a plus. Okay, so those guys give it to you. So, now we're gonna go into the frame. This is the most important part. This is what you're sitting on, this is what you're fishing off of. Um, this is what your cargo trailer is for. Uh, this is what holds your oars on the boat. So, frame comes in a couple different pieces. You're gonna get three different boxes with the frame. You got your casting brace, you got your front seat rails, your rower seat rails, your cargo trailer. You're gonna have another box with seats in it. Then you're gonna have a piece with uh, another box with your oar lock pieces and the frame that goes underneath your cargo chair. 
which I'm going to come with the camera, but I'm just kind of going over this all in one shot. You know this is the front seat because it has the bubble in it. It comes up, and there's also an anchor cleat attached to it with a pulley. So this has a full anchor system. The anchor system's on the back of the boat. The rope runs straight through the frame, so you have less stuff to get snagged on. It's got a cleat perfectly set up in front of the rower, and it has a pulley to help you get that anchor up out of the water. Oar locks are going to be powder-coated red. The rest of the frame is black, so you're going to know right where these go. Okay, then you have your rower seat. Your rower seat is the only one that does not rotate. So the front and rear seats are 360 degree rotatable seats. So if you need to fold it down, get it out of the way, whatever you need to do while you're fishing, you can. Obviously when you're storing or trailering the boat, you're gonna want those seats down, clipped together so that way they don't open up. All three seats all fold down. The only one that does not rotate is the rower seat. On the back, the actual base to the seat is mounted on the cargo tray, so you don't have a frame rail on the back. This is your cargo tray. Coolers, grill, whatever you could possibly think of, you can put back here. This lashes to the frame, or excuse me, to the raft. All these clip in with trailer clips. Um, there's actually cylinders, uh, which you'll see in a couple pieces that we did, where I bring it right up to the camera. Pre-drilled, super easy to work with, I mean, I literally put this frame together in less than 30 minutes. Um, so, once you get back here, again, you've got your lashings on the sides. So, one here in the front, one here in the back. Same thing on the other side. Back here, you have one on each side of the cargo tray, and then one on the back part of the frame and the cargo tray. So, that it holds it to the boat. And right behind it is your anchor housing. That's where your anchor pulley is. Um, that's where you're going to net your anchor. Excuse me, is my oar move. Oars that come with the boat are Cataract KVOs with the Cutthroat Mini blades on them. Okay, this is a almost full carbon shaft wrapped with an oar stop. The oar locks are already in your, your frame, so you don't have to worry about it. And I'm just going to spin this one out of the way here so you can see what we got going on. So right now, I'm out on the water. I got my oar. It's not coming out. I can row, I can stop, I can anchor the boat. If you want to stop for lunch, I can let it float and cut water. And then when I'm storing and trailering, they're going back here on the cargo tray. I'll probably just throw some Velcro so they're not bouncing around. But other than that, guys, there are other boats that look like this boat. Okay? And the reason I say that is because most of you are probably going, well, they copied somebody else. Well, unfortunately, for those other boats, this was the first one. Okay, this is the design. This is what they all copied. So I'm not going to mention names, but if you look across the interwebs, you'll know who I'm talking about. Okay. I've seen those boats, I've sat in those boats. I would never pay the $8,500 for one of those boats. What's great about River Rat is you can buy this boat, entire setup, everything included, 4,500 bucks. And keep an eye, because every once in a while they do some deals where when you buy it, they'll give you free shipping. So literally you're getting it to your door for 4,500 bucks. Okay, five boxes came UPS today. All right here. 12 foot, 125 pounds, three person, floats in two inches of water. It's going to be hard to find another drift raft set up with everything that will hold three people for that price. So, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to grab the camera. I'm going to flip my screen around so I can see what I got going on. And I'm going to take you around the boat. So, there is the beautiful River Rat Pro Series emblem, both front and rear of the boat, casting brace, okay? Here's some extras that I didn't mention. They give you some rod holders, okay? I didn't mount them because I don't know where I want to put them yet uh, until I get this thing in the water. But here you go, you got seats, fully padded, whoop. There's that little bump in the frame I was talking about, okay? There's your pump, there's your uh, repair kit, here's one of your lashing points, cataract oars, 
Okay, there's your rower seat, straight frame. You'll know that's the rower seat. But look at this cargo tray. Look at that cargo tray. Sick. Sick, 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 sick. Okay, we're gonna come back out here. Ooh, making all kinds of noises. Got boxes in the way. Okay, there's your anchor housing. Comes with the pulley. Okay. Lashing point in the rear. Lashing point in the cargo tray, which goes right there. Same on both sides. 12 foot long. Floats in two inches of water. Look at that beast. Crazy, right? So, guys, if you're in the market for a drift raft, don't pay attention to all the little pop-up ads on Facebook. Okay, you're gonna spend too much money on that raft. Go to riveratusa.com. Grab yourself a Pro Series. You will not be disappointed.